Hey guys, just want to give a little bit of feedback on uh, my, my work from yesterday. Uh, so I was doing a lot of, um, so it's Monday morning this morning, spent a lot of the weekend working on DaVinci, uh, working on a video um, and learning as much as I can. Uh, got a bit extra, had a bit of extra time this weekend. Uh, baseball doesn't kick off at all uh, next weekend. So I'd basically lose all my weekends again, but had a bit of time. So I thought I'd put a, a lot of time into learning uh, as much as I can about DaVinci and about video editing and stuff like that. Um, I actually had a lot of success with it. It's, it's a very daunting program when you first see it. Uh, when you first get into it, there's a lot of stuff in there. I, I think I've only just, I, well, I know I've only just scratched the surface of it now even, um, but it spent a lot of time on Saturday uh, getting a whole uh, YouTube education, uh, school of YouTube. Um, watched a lot of videos, tutorials, that sort of stuff, just kind of understanding how it works, what it is, um, how all the, the different elements in it work together. There's a lot of different terminology and stuff that I've never come across before with uh, with video editing, obviously photography. I've, I'm pretty much cover, I've pretty much over everything that, that you can talk about in photography, um, but never really had anything to do with the videography. Um, so learning all the different words and um, what the different things mean and how all the different elements in the, the software work together. Um, got a whole bunch of stuff, had a bit of a play Saturday night, and then yesterday I actually put a little bit of time, went out and just grabbed a, a quick little videos of, of the of my chipbox crawler and um, put that together in a video just for something to work on, um, just to give me something to, to work with. Um, need to work on the actual video side of stuff as well now. Um, it's kind of, it's it's hard, it's sort of a catch-22. I know the same with photography. Uh, it took me a while, long while to learn, not a long while, but it took me a while to learn um, what you needed to shoot to get the outcome that you wanted. Because um, not always what you see in the, in the, uh, what you see through the lens is not always what you want in the end. After you've edited it and done a few little tweaks and bits and pieces, you compile things and stuff like that, videography especially, uh, obviously different angles and movements and transitions and um, a photo is kind of what you see. Not, it's not 100% what you see, what you get, but you can have a pretty rough idea of you've got the left-hand side of the car, you've got the right-hand side of the car, you've got the front of the car, you've got the back of the car, whatever it happens to be that you're after a photo, and then it's just tweaking and editing and, and making it look how you want it to look. Um, whether it's a car or a person or a landscape or whatever it is that you're taking, you kind of have a rough idea, um, but not always. You can muck around and compose things and do all sorts of stuff in Photoshop, but I guess. Um, Videography, the same thing. It's even more so. The way you compile it and you put different scenes and different pieces together in that video, obviously it's going to end up very different to just a one shot, bang, done. There's your photo. Video, when you compile it all, knowing the different scenes you want and the different transitions and how you want the camera to move through a certain scene and, and how you want um, uh, different movement of the, the camera and the viewpoint and stuff like that. Um, learning that side of stuff. Uh, I kind of have a bit of an idea. Uh, I, as well as learning a lot of stuff, I actually watched a lot of videos that I liked, kind of need an idea of what worked and what didn't and um, how they were filming things and how they're doing transitions and what effects they were using and how they were editing the, the video afterwards. Um, so yeah, I kind of mucked around with it. I got a little bit of quick videos of the crawler on the weekend uh, on Saturday compiled all together I actually came out better than I thought like it's if it was a better subject probably look even better uh, there's a few things that I want to do different and a few things that I already looked at like how I can probably do this get a little bit wider angle for that or move through here a little bit different or make sure I get you know a little bit more so I was sort of taking a video and then stopping like okay if I've got to rather than stop there I've got to continue through that scene a little bit more just so when I edit it I've got things to transition out of that scene stuff like that um it really cool though. Like it's, it, I kind of had to muck around and muck around with a few different little effects and stuff as well, just to sort of make them look a little bit funky. Um, obviously, car videos and stuff, especially drifting uh, and car videos, is very um. There's a certain look uh, that people are after, um, and there's certain things that people like seeing in videos uh, to make them look more energetic and a little bit more exciting. Uh, so I sort of played around with those a little bit. Obviously, you got to be careful you don't overdo things because uh, can be. Uh, end up looking like the, the high school project of just we'll throw every effect out of possible to try and get extra points. Um, but um, yeah, had a, had a really good play around. Actually got a lot of um, a lot of extra info out of it. Um, it's um, yeah, really, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, there is a lot of a lot of stuff in there that I've never used. I'm only using the free version. So there's a lot of stuff in there that's not accessible to me, but even in the free version, there's so much stuff you can do. Um, and then kind of had muck around with some footage I'd taken at the track uh, from other track days. Uh, so I put that together with some photos and stuff, So, which is what I kind of wanted to do. I wanted to sort of incorporate the photos in the video 
uh, that I take all at the same time. So yeah, got some really cool stuff. Quite happy with them. Uh, I did post a couple yesterday. There is another one going up uh, today around midday, I believe, uh, of Shell and his uh, bright blue Ford Falcon. Uh, compilation of video of him and a few photos at the end. Um, yeah, it looks kind of funky. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's, I'm enjoying learning the video side of stuff. Um, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love to get your feedback. love to see what you guys think of the videos that I'm putting up. Um, obviously, feel free to, to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as all the YouTubers say. Um, yeah, no, I'm really excited, guys. Hope you, you, you enjoy the videos that I'm going to start putting out. and uh, I hope I enjoy keep putting them out for you. So until next time, guys. Ciao.